Baymanette police officer remains on administrative leave after a deadly shooting over the weekend that took the life of 32 year old Otis French Jr. It began as a traffic stop and quickly escalated. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams has been on this story since Saturday. She joins us now live and Debbie investigators are trying to figure out why this happened. Yeah, 48 hours into this investigation and they say they still got a long way to go. But what we have learned today is once this investigation is complete, a Baldwin County grand jury will look at this entire case and determine if criminal charges are warranted. A gray vehicle in a driveway on Lower Street in Bay Manette. That's where Otis French Jr. pulled over for a faulty blinker and the same yard where he would eventually lose his life. It's a really tough thing to know that this family is currently grieving and we're trying to figure out why. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to know how we ended up there. How did this happen? Why did it happen? Um, what's the background? And, you know, how do we move forward from this? What they believe so far, the officer was pushed to the ground after the traffic stop. French ran away. The officer catches up to him and uses his taser, but it's not effective. Then another physical fight and French gets the taser and tases the officer multiple times. And that's when the police officer shot him. Having someone get the taser certainly poses a huge problem for that officer if he were to become incapacitated with a firearm, his vehicles out there with other firearms. So, you know, it's a really dangerous situation. The Baldwin County Major Crimes Task Force made up of investigators from several agencies is conducting the investigation. They say it won't be quick, but it will be thorough. Between, you know, recovered shell casings, you know, how many rounds I believe are actually fired from the officer's weapon, body camera footage, witnesses, uh, you name it. Uh, there's actually maybe another source for video out there. So we have to review all those things and come back with a definitive answer. Now the officer's name has not been released. We are told he's a veteran law enforcement officer, has worked at a couple of different agencies in Baldwin County. Of course, he's recently, most recently with uh, Bay Manette Police Department. And we're also told that it is unclear at this point if he has even talked to investigators about this case yet. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.